In this problem, we're told that a ship travels on a heading of 34 degrees. And you see this in the diagram. This is north, and going clockwise from north, 34 degrees puts us in this direction. That is the way the ship is heading. So we call it a heading of 34 degrees. After traveling for 70 kilometers, how far north and how far east is it from its starting point? So let's say from here to here, is 70 kilometers. So I'm going to write 70 next to this to indicate that that length right there is 70 kilometers. And we want to know how far north it is from the starting point. So how far from here to here, how far north it is gone. So let's do this. Let's draw a dotted line here and think this is one of the things we're looking for. Let's call it D for distance or displacement and we'll put a little in there for the distance north and we also want to know how far east it is from the starting point so from here to here how far east has it gone so let's draw a little dotted line down here and this length right here down at the bottom let's call that the distance east. So there's two distances, we'll call them both D for distance, but one is a north and one is east. So we differentiate them with the little N and E subscripts. Now let's think about this angle for a second. Clearly that's 90 minus 34, which is 56. So that's 56 degrees. Now all we have to do is find this length, DN, and this length, DE. And we can use either of these angles, the 34 degree angle or the 56 degree angle. Just be aware of which one you're using. I'm going to solve this each way. Each way. I'll start first here with the 34 degree angle. Watch this. With this 34 degree angle, think about this triangle. And this is a right triangle. That's a right angle right there. This is horizontal. So I can look at this 34 degree angle and I can say the cosine of 34 degrees cosine is what over what? Well here's my 34 degree angle the cosine will be the adjacent which is right here dn divided by the hypotenuse which is 70 so cosine of 34 is dn over 70 and that's kilometers 70 kilometers so dn, the distance north, is going to be 70 times the cosine of 34 degrees. And that comes out to 58 kilometers. So that's how far north this ship ends up from its starting point. And then I can also think about the sine of the 34 degree angle. I can say the sine of 34 degrees. Look, here's our 34 degree angle. This is the opposite side, and you should see from this diagram that this opposite side here is the same length as this here. So I can call this length here DE. So sine 34 is opposite over hypotenuse. In this case, that's DE, the distance east, divided by 70. So the distance east ends up being 70 times the sine of 34 degrees. And that comes out to uh, 39 kilometers. So it ends up 39 kilometers east of where it started. Okay, now you're done at that point. The problem is finished. Those are your two answers. But I do want to go ahead and solve it the other way just to show you that either way will work. So I'll use this space over here. Now I'm going to look at the 56 degree angle and I'm going to think about the sine of that angle. The sine of 56 degrees and now I'm looking at this triangle and that's a right angle right down there. Okay, sine of 56 degrees, that angle, is opposite over, whoops, opposite over hypotenuse. And you should see that the opposite side here is the same as this. So this length is just dn. So let's write that, dn. So sine of 56 degrees will be dn over 70. So rearranging that equation algebraically gives me that dn is equal to 70 
times the sine of 56 degrees. And if I work that out, I get 58 kilometers. Okay, a different angle here than I was using over here, but I'm also using the sine instead of the cosine, and the answer ends up being the same. And then over here, I can also say, look at this angle and think about the cosine. I can say the cosine of the 56 degree angle. Cosine is what over what? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, that's DE over 70. So DE is equal to 70 times the cosine of 56 degrees. And if you work that out on the calculator, you get, of course, 39 kilometers. So same as before. So my point here is that you can use either of these angles. Just be aware of which one you're using and use the trig functions correctly accordingly.